Hey there. Ever wondered how top executives simplify those complex organization structures? Well, today I'll show you how to calculate spans and layers in Excel in just few easy steps. Ready to impress your boss or take control of your own team structure? Let's dive in. Hi everyone, welcome back to Excel with Sati. I'm Sati and today we are tackling a topic that's super important for any manager or executive. How to calculate spans and layers using simple Excel formulas. Now, I know this might sound a little intimidating at first, but trust me, it's actually pretty simple. By the end of this video, you will be able to analyze your team structure like a pro and all you need is Excel. So if you are someone who manages people or just wants to understand your organization better, stick around. We are going to cover everything from what spans and layers actually mean to how you can calculate them yourself using basic Excel functions. You are going to love how easy this is. Alright, let's jump in right. So what exactly are spans and layers? Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. Spans refers to how many people report directly to a manager. It's like knowing how many direct reports you have. Layers are the levels in the hierarchy, from the CEO at the top of the folks working on the ground. Now, you might be wondering, why does this even matter? Well, too many layers can slow down decision making and too many direct reports can overload managers. Finding the right balance can make your organization run like a well-oiled machine. Now, let's jump into the Excel. I have this data which has employee number, employee name, the manager name and the manager ID. This data has been extracted from Kaggle. Before we jump into any conclusion, let's look at the data to see if there is any anomaly. All employee IDs have corresponding names to it. Now. Let's check if all employees are tagged to a manager. This employee, Tonal, doesn't have a manager. Let's assume this employee is the company CEO. Let's highlight this employee number with a different color for our easy reference. What we are going to do is we are going to copy this employee name and the number to the manager name and number assuming this employee is going to be the CEO or is the CEO. Let's remove the filters and let's add one column. We will call this as direct reports or dia in short let's write a simple count fs formula to get the number of direct reports that each manager has in this case the criteria range is going to be the manager id and criteria is going to be the employee ID. Let's copy and have a paste value so that our Excel does not slow up. And we are going to make few changes and add few columns. Let's change the title to manager ID 01 and manager name 01. And let us assume there are 12 layers in this organization and I'm going to bring in 12 columns. Let's click and drag towards the right. Okay. And what we are going to do right now is we are going to find the manager's manager. So we are going to do this for all the levels until we reach to the CEO level. To do that, we are going to write a VLOOKUP formula. So VLOOKUP open bracket. Here in this case, we are going to look at 
the manager which is e7 and the range is going to be from b7 to all the way down to f 60006 comma 4 comma 0 the fourth column is the manager id and i'm going to copy this and then change the column reference from 4 to 5 now i have the managers manager id and the name i'm going to do this until 12 levels i'm going to value paste all the formulas that we just wrote so that the excel does not lag now let's look at the last layer we could see the manager name 12 has just one name which is donald so we are correct on the assumption that donald is the ceo of this company and the manager level 11 also has denial and 10 also has denial and 9 has multiple names to it so we assume that this organization has 10 layers what we are going to do is we are just going to copy the id of ceo and filter employees reporting to this ceo copy there are 12 employees reporting to the ceo it is going to copy it go to the next sheet let's paste in c5 and we are going to paste the employee id and the employee name we are going to bring in the manager number the total managers total direct reports and span and this will be for layer one and we are going to do this for 10 layers let me make it all right let's make it center aligned okay let's do this Wonderful. So we are going to make one more layer and I'm going to call this as total. Just be uh, aware that the formula for layer 2 to layer 10 is going to be the same. However, the formula for layer 1 and layer 2 to 10 is going to be a little different. Let's write a simple counter formula to get the total managers here in this case since these employees are the first level reporters or the direct reporters of the company ceo we are gonna see these managers count as one let's see that count of s data that's our table name and i'm gonna use the employee id column comma I'm gonna freeze column C in C5 and then the next criteria again on the same data and I'm gonna look for direct reports and the criteria is gonna be greater than zero. If you notice the manager count is one because they are the direct reports of the CEO and they are just one manager and if you notice the CEO name is also here so it is going to create some confusion I'm going to remove this name from the list so ideally we should have 12 employees who are the directs of the CEO now let's bring in the total direct reports for the first employee Let's write this in counter formula, counter of S, and then we're going to use data and manager 
ID01, comma, it's going to be C5. I'm going to freeze column C here again and close the bracket. So this employee has 34 direct reports and the span formula is going to be a error direct reports divided by total packages in case of error then bring us zero okay let me make it with one decimal okay i'm going to copy this formula and paste it over here and on the manager column instead of employee id i'm going to call manager id 01 and the direct reports instead of 01 i'm going to change this to 02 so if you look at this data corey is the manager and he has 34 direct reports among 34 direct reports all of them are people managers that is what you see here and these 34 people have 43 direct reports so it's 43 is for all of 34 managers and you see a span of 1.3 i'm going to copy this i'm going to paste it over here and i'm going to make some edits and i'm going to repeat this activity until layer 10 Here on the total, I'm going to bring in count of managers from all the layers or I'm going to use the sum function to count the total managers that we have. So sum of this and let's do one by one. Now we have 2755 managers in this span and I'm going to use Ctrl R to just copy the formula to the next column and the span formula is going to be the same. Let us format a little bit. next step what you are going to do is you are going to copy this formula to all other direct reports of the CEO select everything press ctrl D and it's going to copy the formula to all other rows and towards the end let's merge this and call it as total and I'm gonna use the same span formula here so I pressed ctrl D I'm gonna use the sum here which is alt equal to that's a shortcut that I use and again I'm gonna copy the formatting that's used here to be applied and I'm gonna copy this formula paste it to all the layers all right now there is a question for us to see if this table is giving us the right information or we just want to know whatever we did is it correct 
So if you look at the total DRs, 59,987, that's the total direct reports that we have. And if you look at it here, we have 12 direct reports of the CEO. So what we are going to do is, it's just going to say equal to 59987 plus 12 direct reports plus one CEO. So the total data or the total headcount should be 60,000 employees, including the CEO and his directs. Okay, let's go to the data. Remove the filter. Let's select the entire column. And if you see, we could see 60,000 employees. Or we have 60,000 rows of data, which is nothing but 60,000 employees. Now let's go here. And we are now sure that whatever we created is correct. We are going to format a little bit. Let's go to column A, X and probably we write few metrics over here. Total managers and total employees and then average span or let's call it as total span. Total span and total layers. I'm going to make it okay. So so for total managers, I'm going to use the equal to function to bring in the total managers here and total employees we know it is 60,000 employees I'm just gonna copy and paste the format here and total span this is the total span equal to the span and layers we know total, there are tied layers to it okay this is one section to it and let's do another one layer 0 1 layer 0 2 and I'm going to bring this onto layer 9 and this will be the manager count and this will be the direct reports count I'm going to use the equal to function and okay so let's think about this so layer one ceo is the layer one so he is the manager is one and he has 12 direct reports that's what we see here and layer two we are looking at these people so i'm just clicking on 12 and then layer three Again, we're going to choose this 135. So we have total 10 layers. So total layers is 10 by the organization but if you look at from a CEO standpoint there are only 9 layers for the CEO. 
I'm gonna copy this and then just say control R it's gonna bring in the formula referencing to the next cell now I'm gonna bring in a dummy value value I'm gonna use this times negative 1 so that I have a negative value here you might be wondering why are we doing this you, you will have a fair idea when we uh, come up with a visual so now what we are going to do is we are going to bring in a chart we are going to bring in the data by the direct reports select the data go to insert menu recommended charts you can go to all charts as well and choose a funnel chart click ok and this is how the organization structure looks like Now we are done. Now we are going to create another graph. The other graph is again we are going to bring in the layers, we are going to bring in the direct reports and the dummy value. Go to insert, recommended charts, go to chart, look for the bar chart and choose this okay click ok I'm gonna delete the chart title and I'm gonna make some edits to the axis so the maximum value that we have here is 38,000 so I'm gonna make this as negative 40,000 and this is going to be positive 40,000 and select this and overlap is going to be 100% let's call this as uh, let's Go to chart design, select data, instead of dummy edit and change it to manager, click OK, remove this bars, remove this layers, double click on this layers and then Let's scroll down to labels and make it to high. Uh, high doesn't look good. Let's make it low. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to bring in the grid lines. So, grid lines. Let's see which makes more sense. Yeah, this makes more sense. And add data labels. Okay. Let's kind of reduce this. Yes. Now this makes sense. We're going to make some edits here and I can make this bold bold again bold yes so now you see there is a negative number here which doesn't look good what we are going to do is you're going to select this and 
you're gonna go to data labels more options and then remove this value okay uh, one let's control Z let's say value from cells and then choose the positive numbers click OK and remove the values now if you look at it we have the positive number now we know there are 3856 managers and they have 38,072 direct reports at layer 10 similarly we could look at for each layer Now you have this and what I'm going to do right now is insert a square here or a rounded square. Let's do this. Let's have this decrease the height. Okay, this is pretty good. And what we are going to see is there are like four metrics that we have. We're going to bring in, let's format it and then replicate that. Bring in a lighter shade of blue. Okay. And then go to shape effects, bring in a shadow effect there. I'm just copying it, pasting it, can paste it, paste it, okay. So now I'm going to select everything, put a format, shape format, align, align it to the top and distribute it horizontally. Let's insert a text box here and this text box I'm going to say equals to I'm going to say AX5 hit enter you will have this so I'm going to bring this over here total managers I'm gonna make this bold change the font to a gray shade oh, let's bring in uh, okay yes this is better so I'm gonna copy it paste it again this over here and again another one and another one you can select everything to just make sure they are on the same height okay so now this is total managers and Instead of A X five, I'm gonna make it to A six, and then this will be X seven, and this will be eight. So I'm gonna adjust so that it is in the center. I'm gonna do this here as well. center let's do this here as well center yes
change the font's uh, color to this. Now let's copy this and paste it. And instead of A X, we're going to say A Y. This is what you're going to have it here, and you're going to increase the font size. change it to a white font or a darker version of blue copy paste it I'm gonna have this for total employees and instead of five I'm gonna make it to six and again paste it here I'm gonna make it to seven and again paste it I'm gonna make it to eight copy yes okay just Select that, format paint, okay, again, format paint, do it for spans and layers. Okay, now how should we read this data? Let's look at Dennis as an example. So Dennis being a manager, he has three direct reports. His span is three. And what we see here is all of his direct reports, like three direct reports are also managers. And they have 10 people reporting under him. And out of this 10 people, what we see is all the 10 are people managers and they have 12 people reporting under him and this is where you see a change out of this 12 people there are only four people who are people managers sorry eight people are people managers and four are individual contributors again the trend follows back there are 13 people reporting to eight managers and all these 13 people are again people managers so you will see this data and this is how you should be reading this table to have a clarity i'm gonna go to view menu hide the grid lines hide the headlines and the formula bar so now that you have got your spans and layers what do you do with it well this is where it gets interesting executives can use this info to spot potential issues maybe a manager has way too many direct reports or perhaps the organization has too many layers and needs to be flattened. This kind of analysis helps improve decision making and ensures everyone is operating at peak efficiency. Thank you so much for watching. By now you have learned how to calculate and visualize spans and layers using simple excel formulas and it isn't hard right? This is a super value tool for executives and managers 
helping you improve your organizational structure and make smarter decisions. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more awesome Excel tips for executives. I would love to hear how you plan on using this in your organization. Drop a comment below and let's chat. And hey, if there's a specific Excel trick you want to learn next, let me know in the comments. See you in the next video. Happy Excelling.